Hello everyone, this is quite an interesting video showing a bonus artillery round hitting a Russian T-72B3. What's quite interesting about this video is, we see the mid-air explosion too, just before the round hits the Russian tank. It's a good example of how this artillery system works. You can see afterwards that it's a perfect hit on the top of the T-72, setting it on fire. No parachute was seen, which identifies this as being bonus which was used. So let's have a look at how the bonus round works. So it operates like so. The round is fired from a bog standard 155mm artillery system. Something such as say the Panzer Habitzer or Caesar. It flies on a parabolic arc. And yeah, I have no idea what that means either. But Google tells me a parabolic arch is an arch in the shape of a parabola. Which is basically a big curve going upwards. These can fire up to 35 kilometers in range. Two submunitions are then ejected out of a shell over the target area, which then fall towards the target. The submunitions then deploy winglets and corkscrew down while scanning for targets. Once the target is detected, the payload detonates, creating an explosively formed projectile which hits the target from the top and penetrates the hull. It's a great weapon and very accurate. We've seen these and the smart rounds used before, but I thought this is quite a good video showing its use. Now, I wonder if these submunitions and these of the smart round can be removed from the 155mm shells and attached to drones instead. They would have less range, but drones are much more numerous than the NATO donated artillery systems, and they could be used when 155mm artillery systems aren't available. Here's a photo of a bonus submunition. You can see the little winglets on the side. Now, let's check the geolocation. So the tank was parked up in this tree line here near the north to the south road. Zoomed out, you can see that this is south of Kopani. Let's check Deep Stasis map and see who controls what in this area. So, directly north, it's about 8 kilometers to the front lines. I went with north, as that's the most likely position for the howitzer that launched the bonus round to be rather than in the territory recently liberated this year, during the counter-offensive just to the east. Here it is zoomed out, so you can see that this took place on the southern front. So that's it for this video, but before we finish, a quick mention about a new fundraiser request for OSTAB, who we've raised money for in the past. This is a mine-sweeping unit, and they request free mine plungers. They request it to be sent to my PayPal first, and then sent to them later on, as we've done with the past fundraisers for them. Big thanks to everybody who has donated so far, thanks very much, and take care everyone.